Here in Guangdong, mainland China, they're building the spires and the all-important anchor boxes for stonecutters. They're making good progress with the spires, but they're having trouble with the anchor boxes. Until these are ready, the bridge can't go forward. But works inspector Don Walton is worried about the delays he's seeing. They're almost a year behind already. I've been coming here on and off uh, now for nearly 20 months. But unfortunately, every time I come, there's a delay or there's a problem. And it's just never ending. It keeps going and going and going, unfortunately. So <laughs> it's going to be a long job. Difficult and very stressful. If the steel sections from the factory are delayed, then work on the main bridge could be put back to 2008. An almost unthinkable holdup. But a more immediate concern are the delays in building the concrete backspan piers, which will support the bridge's main road deck. On Pier 1, Concrete King Gary Ward is hoping to lay two days' worth of concrete in one day. It's not just a matter of time and money. Gary has to get it 100% right. He's worried about the colour and finish of the concrete. I've just been round and told them, OK, it's got to be vibrated, but they've got to concentrate a little bit more to this side. Yes. No bubbles, very important. Vibrating the concrete during the pour is the best way of preventing bubbling as it dries and making sure it stays compact as it sets. The break in the weather seems to be holding, but can they pour 120 cubic metres of concrete in just one day? To keep his team on target, Gary needs two cranes, each working flat out. A spot of local knowledge and some well-chosen words of Chinese can make all the difference. Project director here is engineer Naeem Hussein, one of the world's leading bridge builders. Naeem's unhappy with the colour and finish on the backspan crossbeam. What has happened is that they have over vibrated the concrete, you can see down here, and then the, all the fines have come through to the surface, and that's what has caused the grey colour. It's not the first time it's happened, but okay. Naeem wants to make sure it's the last. This is the the first large pour we have done on a cross beam. And as you can see on the surface, it's gone very dark. Now, we don't want dark concrete. The whole idea is to have even colored, light colored concrete. And what you're seeing over here are the layers between the different concretes. Now, that's not very good. They can do much better. We know they can do better. Concrete Supremo Gary Ward swings by later on to check out what the fuss is about. He reckons it's all a storm in a China teacup. We've had a fair amount of rain during that period. Uh, a lot of winds. We've had these couple of typhoons go past. Um, the noise up here, you, you, we had to have all the people down. It was just screaming through here. And so we had pelting rain. And of course the colour now is, is changing very, very rapidly. OK, this is a bit of a, a repair work. We'll then just put a very, very less than a mil smear along that which matches that colour. It's a blended colour to suit that. We've had constant grief about colour during this whole project. It's, it's very difficult to sit back and, uh, and, and be calm, you know, and not, uh, not want to kill someone. Huh? While Gary's grappling with the concrete on the backspans, on the other side of the bay, Simon's pushing to get the platform on the main tower in place, so that it's ready for Gary's concreting team. If he can't position this first section correctly, he'll never make his 14-day deadline to the first concrete pour.
The balance of the platform looks good, but it's over 30 meters wide and has to fit to an accuracy of just a couple of centimeters. Come on, hey guys, take, take the bloody thing back this way. Hey, no, Chet, take, Chet, please. Take, take it out. It looks like Simon is heading for a problem. The platform doesn't seem to fit. Unless Simon can come up with a solution, his optimistic schedule will go out of the window. OK, let's get the two chain blocks on here, eh? Simon tries using chain blocks to force the platform into place. Put the lever block on your side, pull it back over that way, OK? His problem is growing. He may need a serious rethink. Coming down on the jib here a little bit. Don't pull back on it. Just, just. No, 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 just no the chain it. block's tight here. Don't tighten it. Just leave it over there. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Coming down on the jib here a little bit. It isn't working. On the other side of the harbour, Gary shrugged off Naeem Hussein's criticisms. He's doing what he loves best, pouring concrete. For 30 tough years, he's been concreting Hong Kong. He's also tried to retire three times, but Gary just can't seem to stop working. Sitting in a dry and doing a bit of fishing and I'm not much else. And living here for 27 years, it's, uh, it's difficult to run away from. The speed of the place is always full of go and, and then going down to Australia and sort of stopped dead. And I didn't feel like going to the pub and talking about little athletics and... Uh, and is it going to rain? Do I need to mow the lawn tonight or can I do it tomorrow? And uh, phone rang one night uh, and I was on the plane within three days. <laughs> Unlike Gary, Simon's having major difficulties. Oh, well, Tighten those bolts up, mate. We'll get the other bracket up. He's managed to get one side of the platform to fit and his team starts bolting it into place. Hey. He had released it a little bit, mate. Then he realises that the other side isn't in the right release, position. Release. If he can't shift Pull the platform, it. he won't be able to bolt it down. Pull it. Or release the bolt here. Come on. Well, do it. Simon can't understand why it's not fitting properly. Then he spots the reason. My favourite timber here. Look. Bloody thing. Oh, Timber is needed to take the weight of the platform as it's wedged into place. Like but waiting. this piece should have been removed. Not so happy I'm waiting. Simon now has to release the trapped beam. All right, pull my chain here. Like you do every other day. Did you pull on this? Now he runs into another frustrating problem. Oh, my bloody stopper fell off here. Put this one here first, okay, please? That one. That one first. Then we release the chain block here, lever block. We get the welder to re-weld this bracket here. Until the welding's done, they won't know if the platform section fits and if they can make the tight two-week deadline. 